Hi, this is Pierce with Dirt Hugger. I'm out here on a beautiful day. We're at a 35,000 ton per year facility. It's a nine acre site with a half acre of an aeration pad and about four and a half acres of processing area. These are our primary phase composting aeration pad. It's a half acre pad with um, aeration holes every five feet on a grid. And inside this pad also is 5,000 feet of radiant PEX tubing. This PEX tubing collects the heat from the bottom of the compost piles where it travels into a manifold here, then underneath the concrete here into a pump house where the heat is then transferred into a second loop that goes into the building here, into the concrete slab, both downstairs and upstairs of this new building. Here we can see that it's at about 100 degrees. Um, so that's kind of a constant source of 100 degree heat. And then it's going inside this building to where it's gonna get transferred and then when it comes out of the building, it will go back down these lines, which takes us into the shop area. So water coming in here from the aeration pad, and then it goes through the heat transfer, which is in this pump house, and it will come out uh, and go into the building through these lines right here. The inside of the heat transfer area, so we have the pipes coming in here. They go through this. It's kind of a traditional water heater where the heat is transferred from the loop that goes to the aeration pad to here and then the second loop that goes to the building is inside there and transfers the heat so that it can go into the building. What we also see here is our summer cooling water transfer so that's well water coming in and then it goes out to the building to cool the building so separate loop system using well water but then we're using the exact same radiant tubing in the building to cool it. So the system's either uh, in the summer mode where it's cooling or we're in the winter mode where we're heating. So what it's doing is it's pumping the water through the system into the building, either pumping the hot water through or pumping the cold water through. So if you think about it, our entire heating and cooling costs on an ongoing basis is this pump here at you know 11 watts of power. So it's pretty cheap. 2,900 square foot building for Dirt Hugger. It's about two thirds shop space our equipment, turners, loaders, dump trucks, and the other third is uh, eight different offices with break rooms and places for people. To... Gives you an overview of our shop area. This entire floor here has the radiant tubing in it as well as the second story up here where the offices are. The back door of the building, uh, we'll also see we've got a covered area where we can work on things. Uh, it looks like we're tearing some turners apart today, but we also decided to heat the floor here. So even though it's outside, we get snow from time to time. We wanted to make sure that this was snow free. We've